Hello paddlers, just a short one for you today. What's the worst thing about an inflatable kayak? For me personally, it's cleaning it, right? Because we all know you should always wash your boats down when you've been in the river or the sea or whatever, right? But with an inflatable kayak, uh, you get to your launch site, you spend ages, well not ages, but you blow the thing up you go paddling, you come back, you give it a wipe down, you let it let all the air out, pack it away. You get home, you have to blow the thing up again, wash it all down, dry it all down, fold it all up and you're ready for next time. No more, I found a solution. Right. It's a portable, you may have seen them before, it's just a portable, right? cleaner so you can actually basically get out the water all right bring your boat back to your car wash it down there and then all right pack your boat away and you're ready for your next trip all right how it works it, it's simple enough all right i'm in a funny position here but you lift the handle up this bit comes off that you fill with water, right? I think it's a, a three gallon or two gallon. It's enough to wash a kayak. Right. Uh, inside, right, you've got a little jet hose. You fill this up, you put that back on there, basically. I'm not gonna mess about too much. And you just carry it and uh, wash your boat down. And it works pretty good. I ain't tried it on my boat yet. Right, I've only just got my new boat, I haven't even been out on it yet. Hopefully Monday, Monday coming. Right, but I, I've tried it on the windows outside and stuff, and it, it works pretty good. Uh, and there's enough water in there, right, to wash a boat, definitely. The battery only lasts about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, but that's plenty of time. Right, that's plenty of time. Uh, now inside, I will tell you, because I'm sure somebody will ask what happens if it leaks in the car or whatever. This will not leak. Right? This has got a really nice tight seal there, which goes into the actual power unit. Now, if when you're using it, if you're carrying it about, if it might just splash a little bit inside. But what they've done is, inside where you store the hose... I don't know if you'll see that, but in the bottom there's three little holes and that's just for the water to run out. So as you're holding it, if you are, you know what I mean? If any water does splash, it runs straight out of them holes. And what I've done, I've just got a bucket. So when I finish, just put it in the bucket, pack it away. And if any water has just dribbled a little bit, and when I say a little bit, I am, oh, this just fits in here nicely. Right, when I say a little bit of water dribbling, right, I mean we're talking a splash. Right, so you're not going to fill your bucket up. You're going to use your water anyhow right, when you're washing your boat. Right, but yeah, so a simple little solution right, for a problem that we all hate, washing the boats down. But now you can get out the water wash your boat down, dry your boat down, pack it away and you're just ready, you don't have to get it out again when you get home. Okay then, it's the, I'll tell you what, I'll just leave a link in the description. I got this off Amazon, right, but they're all over the place. I'll just leave the full name, you can go search for it yourself because you, you might find one cheaper than Amazon. Right, but it's a great little gizmo. Like I said, I haven't used it on my boat yet, but I will be. Right, I'll be using it on Monday when I go out for a paddle. Uh, but I've tried it on windows and stuff like that, so it, it's a great little gizmo. It's so as ideal for washing your bike if you go mountain biking or something when you get back to the car, or washing the dog down or something like that, you get me? But I thought that would be perfect right, to chuck in the back of the car right, with all my drying towels in a bucket, ready to go. Okay then paddlers, just a quick one, right, you will see it in action probably at some point and uh, I'll leave it there though, but check it out, I'll leave, like I said, the full name, link in the description so to speak, uh, but I think personally, now I've got it, right, it's 
going to be a godsend. An absolute godsend. In winter, you may have to put, I don't know, want, it, want your kayak on legs or have your kayak cresting against your car or, or somewhat because we know the grass is already wet and it'll be a bit of a pain to get it dry. But in summer, when the grass is dry anyhow, you just rest your car up, your, your kayak up somewhere. Like I said, stand the side of your car, anything. Swill it all down, let the sun dry it, give it away, pack it away, and you're ready for the next day. But uh, just in case you're new to kayaking, you must, you must always wash your boats right, after you've been paddling. Right, at least the day you finished or the next day because there is contact in the river there's diesel floating about and stuff you might not realize because you'll see people swimming in the river but there are contaminants right in the river and in the sea the salt well that speaks for itself you must wash your boats down but there you go then yeah hopefully right you'll think this is a good idea and consider it yourself i'm happy cheers paddlers Oh, by the way, it takes about two hours to charge. No, about an hour to charge. And you get about 20 odd minutes. You just, you just press that button there to start it. Just there. Right, and the charging port is in there. All waterproof. Okay, just a bit of boring bit, because I know somebody will ask. Right then, paddlers. Cheers.